Hey, what's up, everyone? This is uh, AFX. Um, I wanna go ahead and show you guys some of the new features that are coming to Blender. I mean, Blender Dime Room Mesh 2.5, um, and Blender 2.8. So, I added a preset bar, which will detect your poly count, and then it will indicate which one, what option you should choose in order to get a good result. Um. So in this case, this poly um, polygon count is pretty low on this one. The density isn't that high. So it's it's going to set it to low. And that's when you just hit remesh and it, you'll get a pretty decent result already. So you can also subdivide this if you want. And then if I do this for this object... Since it's pretty dense and it's the most dense out of the four, um, it's going to set this to high. And then you just hit remesh and you'll also get a similar result um, because it already um, set the, the values for you. And then for, for this object, it's not that dense. It's in, it's in between... Um, these two I would say so it went ahead and set it to medium hit remesh and then if you get something like this overlapping quads you could either use a relax tool or you can change the guide seat which I'm, which is um, an upcoming feature as well and then it will go ahead and randomize the guides for you so I'll go ahead and Get rid of this one. This one. You'll see that it no longer has that issue. Now if I retopologize this hand, it's a 3D scan, so um I went ahead and used the decimate modifier, brought the polygons a bit down, and then used the relax tool in order to even out the all the tries a bit. Then I just hit detect poly count, sets it to high, remesh, and then you can bring the subdivisions down as well. And then just use the guide seat to randomize your results a bit. And then you'll see that you get a pretty pretty good result to good topology. Um it gives you something decent to work with. Um so um it's not a perfect automatic root topology option but um i would recommend autoflow for that you can note you can notice the difference because the guides are a lot more cleaner um when using autoflow once you remesh your uh 3d scan or 3d sculpt whatever um you can go ahead and and enable wireframe edges and you'll, you'll notice the difference between dyne room mesh and and auto flow and if you get uh vertices that are that are um deformed or uneven you can use the relax tool and it will go ahead and even them out for you while preserving the your shape Go ahead and delete that, and then it's um it's almost the same. I would I would say you get pretty pretty similar results. If I set this to five hundred auto flow remesh. Wireframe all edges. This one as well. And you are a 
flow of this one as well. I'm gonna compare uh, auto flow and dynamic mesh right now. So if I go ahead and put these ones right on top, and then I go ahead and use dynamic mesh to divide it. You'll notice that you get pretty pretty similar results. It's almost the same. But yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys for this video. Um, I also added a density perimeter so you can set the density for your root topology. Um, so if I remesh this and set this to something like 0.8, you'll see that your remesh is a lot more dense. So, um, so yeah, that's like I said, that's uh, I, I just wanted to show you guys. The upcoming features. Um, there is a spring sale on on Blender Market. It ends on May 19. Um, all my add-ons are 25% off. I will leave a uh, link in the description. And um, I'll see you guys um, in the next video.